So fellas, as you can see, I got the red car in here. Uh, I've got the engine out and I'm just about to put the uh, three, four in. That's how I do it. Not saying it's a perfect way, but I always put the flywheel and clutch and pressure plate and the starter on, you know, cause it's just easier that way. If I had a uh, BBK headers on it, those would be on right now too. But as I've got the RCIs, those are a little more involved. So um, I put the cam in last week, got the oil pan off the 302 that was in the red car on here. And, uh, you know, just got it together, put the intake on, all set up to go. I got a, uh, a Mustang <laughs> front cover and a standard rotation water pump. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got some reservations because this thing has been sitting on a stand for like four or five years. Um, probably not good for them, but we'll see. Hopefully all the internal parts stay internal. Um, really had to keep myself in check. I'm taking all this stuff out of here and cleaning it, painting it, but uh, it's just what it is. I'm just going to run it. The only intention just to run it for maybe a year or so until I can get the uh, other cars out of the way and get uh, eventually this will go into uh, the old Mustang that's over at Rodney's. But that'll be <laughs> probably a couple of years down the road at least, if it, hopefully not more. At the rate I'm going, it's, I'm pretty pokey. I had to get the rattle can rust oleum down there because it was starting to get a little rust on it. But luckily, it's you know it's pretty good shape. It's not beat up or bent up or anything like that. So that's a good sign. So anyway, just wanted to pass that along. What we're doing, uh, where we're at on this thing, is still work in progress. I'll get this in today. Don't know if I'll fire it today. I've got uh, some things to do this afternoon with the wife. But we're for sure going to have it in the car. I'm taking the the solid motor mounts off. I'm putting these in. They're uh, energy suspension that I got from uh, Amir a couple years back. Clearly they're mint. But uh, the thing is with the, and it's just my personal observation, the, uh, I get you set up on here smoothly. The way the, uh, you know, the, See the uh, engine mounts bolt to the bottom of the block. So it's all rigid if you got solid motor mounts. And then when the car leaves the line, it's, it wants to do this. If you don't have a, uh, what do you call it, on the back control or uh, and a roll bar. So what you're doing is putting the stress on the block. And I think that's where a lot of guys that are breaking blocks on 347s are having issues. So I'm using the... Uh, poly motor mounts to kind of help cushion some of that and take some of the stress off the block we'll see <laughs> we'll see if it works out uh, like i said i'm this isn't like a super intense combination this is pretty mild relatively mild it's got big heads on it 205s but those are still smaller than like what the ls comes with those heads on a ls which is going to be 5.7 liters roughly you know some are when they first came out, they're 5.7s, the, uh, or 6.2, I think it was. But anyway, the heads are really big, so they were on a small cam. And uh, I didn't want to go to the, like, a 240 style or, you know, that big of a head because it just wasn't necessary. I thought I could do pretty good with these, the 205s, so that's what it is. It's 205 heads, uh, 230 cam, 1101 compression. I got aluminum flywheel on it. Clutch from ProMotion, and uh, still got the 10-spline clutch. Still going to have a T5, stock T5. Um, got a good balancer on the front, and I think that's a good way to go, too, instead of using, like, a stock one. It's a 28-ounce imbalance. So, see, the objective is to go, have it ready to go up to uh, Johnny's the end of uh, May. On May 25th, we're having a dyno day up there. So, anybody in the southeast wants to come down, or up wherever you're at. Uh, like I said, 
Saturday, 25th at 9 o'clock. It's uh, 50 bucks or up to three pulls. You know, and if you go at the end, you can probably get a couple more if necessary. But anyway, like I said, that's where we're at, uh, what we're doing. If you guys want to come up there to Johnny's, love to see you. All the guys are going to be there from our crew. So more than welcome to come on up. Uh, I think Richard's coming from uh, up by Birmingham. And, uh, you know, a bunch of the other, some other guys around here besides who's on our, the usual suspects, if you will. Uh, and like I said, I'm hoping I can have this up there too. I would have had the trooper car up if I didn't get, get that goofy pickup. I think I'd had the trooper car ready for that. Um, so anyway, got to get back at it. Appreciate y'all later. Yo fellas, I forgot to mention I put the motor mounts on too, but I kind of leave them hanging loose just because uh, Alexa lets it kind of sit into the into the K-member. And also on the on these energy mounts, I had to trim a couple of tits off. They had them for a guide, and I think some of them have to have the, the little tit cut off. I think I would have been all right with these, but I just went ahead and cut them off anyway because some of them need a guide, and the uh, Team Z has a spot for them on here it just keeps the motor mounts from slipping like when you take the transmission out it'll keep it from rotating and the other thing i did when i put the intake on i had it on this stand right here this is a summit stand that they used to sell for 30 dollars. i don't have an idea how much they are now i'm sure it's a whole lot more but naturally when i got it i had to modify it to work they had a arm that came up and it went up to the back of the block uh, where the where the bell housing mounts and I wanted to be able to put the clutch you know the replace the rear main seal that was the other thing I did I had the uh, Teflon seal in this but when I first put it together only to find out that those things suck and just the regular rear main seal is that uh, Felpro sells is perfect it's a lot better for it than the uh teflon ones i had three of them and all three leaked well this one didn't leak but then i never ran it so it would have um but yeah i had to rebuild this modify it move stuff around to get it to fit and then uh so what i do with it is i put the block you know the engine on here and then i can do uh put the heads and the intake on while the block is being held by this just like it is in a car not on a stand where it's kind of you know like hanging off i brought this up with a woody a ford strokers sorry about that i brought this up with woody at ford strokers a number about doing it that way versus on a stand i said you know for helping the uh the blocks from crack cracking you know keeping the stress off the block or have it stressed uh when you're putting all this stuff on the way it would be in the car and he said you could build them in outer space it wouldn't make a difference so i mean there's that opinion um uh because i got the stuff here i figured i'd do it the way i wanted to and just uh hope for the best and so that's what we're doing we're going to put this in eventually get up to the track of course it's going to be hot by then and uh so i'm not looking for anything stellar the car is still you know 2950 some pounds race weight so uh but it'll have a lot more power than the 302 so getting into the six this should be a possibility just how far as long as the nut behind the wheel can stay get somewhat tight you know i've definitely out of practice i ain't been up there but to race twice in the last two years i think three times under under 15 passes for sure a little different now that hole closed. Anyway, just wanted to put those two things on there and appreciate y'all later.